A new art piece in downtown Fort Wayne is in pieces. And now the artists in the city are determined to find out what happened. News Channel 15 Sarah Schaefer talked with the artist today and has more now on his reaction. Sarah. Terry Ratliff says he put his heart and soul into this piece. It was meant to add to our community, but somebody ruined it. He has no idea who or why. Hours of work and emotion shattered. Terry Ratliff's bench along the River Greenway is now in pieces. It took me about two weeks of nonstop, six hours a day. A few months ago, he was asked to paint a bench as part of an art project with the city and ArtLink. He wasn't originally picked to be one of the artists to do this. He filled in when someone couldn't participate. So with a late start, he worked hard and a lot. It overlooked the river next to the Martin Luther King Jr. Bridge. A text from a friend showed Ratliff that was all over. Well, they first asked me if, how I was doing, and I said, I'm fine, why? And they said, oh, it's not good. Then the friend sent him a picture of the destruction, something so hurtful it brought him to tears. Oh, it hurt my feelings like crazy. Uh, I mean, I didn't, I, it was almost like a train hitting, you know, a train hitting me. I just... The emotions came out, you know, the work that you put into it. Radliff has been working as a full-time artist in Fort Wayne for 20 years. So I do a lot of downtown pieces. People love it. He says he could paint on the now empty stone, but the frame of the bench was found in the water downstream. So instead, he's advocating for public art and is going to try and rebuild what was destroyed. Because I want to turn a negative into a positive. You know, I mean, this person obviously did it to hurt me or hurt someone. Or maybe they're just a troubled person. They destroyed something that was beautiful. Whereas I can rebuild it and put my positive energy into it and make it, make it a nice piece of Fort Wayne. The Fort Wayne Police Department is currently investigating this crime. The city of Fort Wayne sent us a comment saying they are deeply disappointed. Sarah Schaefer, News Channel 15.